It was great to be a Florida Gator, as they say, when it came to Team USA's morning in the pool. Not only did former Florida swimmer Caleb Dressel roll to a thrilling win in the 100 meter freestyle, current Florida senior Bobby Fink came from behind to win gold in the 800 meters. I'm Dan Walken. Here's what you missed on Thursday in Tokyo, and I'll tell you everything you need to look out for on Friday. Team USA got some bad news as pole vault world champion Sam Kendricks tested positive for COVID-19 and is out of the Olympics. Sam, we love you, we support you, and we are all so heartbroken to hear the news. Sunisa Lee won the all-around competition at the Tokyo Games on Thursday, becoming the fifth consecutive American to win in the event. She beat out competitors from Brazil and Russia to earn the top spot on the podium and extends the American streak of Olympic golds. Meanwhile, American Kaylee Browning won the silver medal in women's trap shooting, and the golf event for men got underway here with Austrian and former University of Georgia golfer Sepp Straka posting 8 under to lead the way. Let's move on from Thursday and take a look at what's ahead for Friday in Tokyo. We will see if the U.S. women's soccer team can live up to its lofty expectations at this event when it plays the Netherlands in the quarterfinal. We've got the start of track and field, where the women's 100-meter competition gets going with first-round heats. Lily King returns to the pool for the 200-meter breaststroke. Abby Weitzel goes for the gold in the 100-meter freestyle. And the U.S. tries to add more medals in the men's 200-meter backstroke and 200-meter individual medley. Visit olympics.usatoday.com and follow us on social media at USA Today Sports to stay updated on the latest news from Tokyo. We'll see you Friday.